Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to apply the long division algorithm in finding the quotient of two polynomial expressions. The instructions for this example are as follows. We are to identify the dividend and divisor in the given quotient. And using long division, we are to divide and then identify the quotient and remainder. So in this example, um, the problem we're going over is x to the fourth minus 81x squared minus 9x minus 81 divided by x plus 9. So the first task is to identify the dividend and divisor. Okay, so the dividend in this expression is the um, term that comes first which is x to the fourth minus 81x squared minus 9x minus 81. Think about it as the numerator in a quotient expression, okay? And the divisor is what the dividend is being divided by. Basically, the second expression in this quotient expression right here, which is x plus 9. If this um, quotient statement were written as a fraction, the divisor will be the denominator and the dividend, of course, the numerator. Okay, now let's go ahead and divide um, these two polynomial expressions and, and identify what the quotient and remainder are. So first of all, we're going to set up um, the division bar. Now, what goes into the division bar, of course, we are going to put the dividend or the numerator into the division bar. Now, if you take a close look at what we have in the division bar, it's slightly different from the original dividend expression. We have introduced a placeholder, namely 0x to the third. Now, whenever you're using the long division algorithm, it's imperative that all degree terms be addressed okay you may not omit any or else you, it will result in problems when you're carrying out your long division algorithm all right so if a degree term is missing we are descending from the highest degree to the lowest degree you want to put in a placeholder basically assign zero as a coefficient of the uh, of the term with the missing degree okay so in this case the missing term is a third degree term. So we just insert zero X to the third. So this basically is zero. It makes no change to the dividend expression. Okay. Now that we have that set up, we're going to put our divisor um, on the outside. This is very similar to your standard um, long division of, of numbers. Okay. Now, uh, when you're dividing using long division, you going to be focusing mainly on the leading terms all right so what do i mean um, we're going to be focusing on x in the divisor and x to the fourth in the dividend okay now you ask yourself how many times does x to the fourth this does x go into x to the fourth or x times what gives you x to the fourth if you divide these two if you divide x to the fourth by x, you end up with x to the third. Since the result is a third degree term, we have to make sure that it's placed in the column that contains a third degree polynomial term. Okay, so um, x to the third is the answer. We're going to place it right above zero x to the third because this is the third degree column. It's imperative that you align your terms by like degrees so that you can keep your work, your work organized and avoid making mistakes. Now that we have that, we'll just simply multiply x to the third to x and nine, place the result underneath here, and then we're going to subtract, okay? So x to the third times x plus nine, if you distribute x to the third, you have x to the fourth plus 9x to the third. Now, what are we going to do with this um, factor? We are going to subtract, okay? 
we're going to subtract this from the um, original polynomial expression. So we just introduce a minus in front, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, and then 0x to the third minus positive 9x to the third. When we carry out the subtraction, um, the degree of the, of the dividend has to decrease, okay? So notice the x of the fourths cancel out. It's not the coincidence, that's what we um, engineered when we divided x to the fourth by x, okay? So these cancel out, and then 0 minus positive 9x to the third is 9x to the third, okay? And then um, we're going to go ahead and bring down uh, the next degree term, which is 81x squared. Now you notice we're working with binomials two terms at a time. The reason is because our divisor is also a binomial expression. Okay? Now remember, division is the same thing as repeated subtraction of factors. They mean the same thing. Just as multiplication is repeated addition, division is repeated subtraction. So what we're doing is basically taking out the factors from the dividends to result in the quotient, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to carry out the same procedure again. Take a look at the leading term of the divisor and the dividend, x and negative 9x to the third. Those are the two things you're going to be focusing your attention on. So you ask yourself, how many times does x go into negative 9x to the third? Or what is negative 9x to the third divided by x? The answer is negative 9x squared because negative 9x squared times x is negative 9x to the third. Since the result is a second degree term, we're going to align it in the second degree column. So let's place negative 9x squared right there. Now what are we going to do next? If you recall previously when we um, had the x to the third, what we did is we multiplied x plus 9 by that result. We're going to apply the same procedure again. We're going to multiply negative 9x squared to x and 9 and place our product underneath this uh, expression right here, okay? So we carry out the multiplication. We're going to end up with negative 9x to the third. When you multiply 9, negative 9x squared with x, minus 81x squared. Okay? Now, what do we do with this factor? We subtract. Again, we're going to keep subtracting until we end up with the remainder, okay? So, to subtract, just put your parentheses. Now, this parenthesis is really important, okay? It helps you avoid making errors associated with sign, okay, with the sign. So um, we're going to subtract, so uh, negative 9x to the third minus negative 9x squared, minus times minus is a plus, so these two cancel out to zero. Negative 81x squared minus minus 81x squared is the same as negative 81x squared plus, because minus times minus is a plus, okay? That cancels out to zero also. So these two uh, expressions basically cancel each other out. So all we just have to do is drop down the last two, okay? Remember, we're doing two at a time since our divisor is a binomial. It has just two, um, two terms um, with a degree one of separation, all right? This is degree one, this is degree zero. Okay, now we drop those two down. We have negative 9x squared minus 81. Now what do we do? We see repeating the same procedure. Look at the leading terms and ask yourself how many times does the leading term of the divisor go into the leading term of the dividend? So how many times does x go into negative 9x? Or what is negative 9x divided by x? The answer is negative 9. Since negative 9 is a zero degree term or a constant, we align it in a constant column above 81. All right? Now, with the negative 9, just as we did with these two, we're going to multiply negative 9 into x and 9 and subtract it from this right here. 
So let's go ahead and do that. See if you carry out the multiplication. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times positive 9 is negative 81. We're going to proceed to subtract. Since these two terms are identical, what do you expect to happen when you subtract? You end up with 0. So what does that tell us? It tells us that we have no remainder. If we have no remainder, that tells us that the divisor is a factor of the dividend. Okay? So let's go ahead and write down our answer. Our answer is x to the third minus 9x squared minus 9. Now what is the uh, quotient and what is the remainder? The quotient is uh, what you have on top here. That's a quotient, x to the third minus 9x squared minus 9. And your remainder is the number that you left with down here, the constant. So our remainder is equal to 0. Okay? So that's basically how you carry out the long division algorithm. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found this uh, tutorial beneficial to you, do give us a thumbs up. We'll appreciate the positive um, feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about this example or any other um, pre-cal question, feel free to include it in the comments section below. More clips can be found on mark.serve.com. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.